what are you doing? You can't be great sitting at home watching everybody else achieve their, their dreams. You can't be at home. All those people on Netflix have achieved some measure of success. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't be at home. God has made you an incredible human being. But to find that incredible human being, you got to dig them out of the garbage. You got to dig them out of the trash because you've had so much dysfunction in your life. You think what you're doing right now is normal. You chilling. Why well, got people out there who are putting you on ice because they are working. They're outdoing you. They're outperforming you. And you say, no, I just got to be who I is. <laughs> I got to be who I am. You didn't even know who the hell you are if you ain't went through some struggle. God has made all of us to struggle. God has made all of us to have pain. God has made all of us have to look deep inside of ourselves to find out who we really are. Because that image of who you really are has been destroyed by the society. It's been destroyed by your parents. It's been destroyed by your first so-called friends. So I am never chilling. I'm putting the competition on ice and put them on notice hmm, that I'm gonna outwork them at every turn. You should take that mentality. It's called learn helplessness. Stop depending on your friends for affirmation. Stop depending on people around you for affirmation. Affirm your doggone self. Work yourself to a position where you achieve your potential and you can be proud of yourself. I ain't never chilling. I'm putting a competition on ice because I'm gonna achieve more than most people achieve in two to three lifetimes because I got sickening work ethic. You know how I developed this sickening work ethic? I started to love me. Oh, I didn't say nobody else. I started to love me. It's called self-esteem. Read about it. And when you take care of yourself, you're going to want the best for yourself. When you take care of yourself, you're going to realize you've been underperforming. When you start taking care of yourself, you start thinking about generations of your babies who are carrying your DNA, who need to see greatness. Stop pointing them to other role models because they need to see a freaking real model. And if you don't start doing this, you're becoming an agent to your own suicide. And you have continued the generational curse. You see, you playing PlayStation while other people are building space stations and you want respect. You're an agent to your own suicide. You better get off your butt. You better rise up. You better do if it's one push up every day. You better do something to improve yourself. Stop sitting around laying at the feet of folks, begging for respect and begging for people to like you, like your doggone self. <sighs> when I learned to like myself, my life took off exponentially because I wasn't worried about all those naysayers in the back. Let me drop some wisdom on you. You know why people talk behind your back? Because you so far ahead of them. Ah, I'm gonna say that again. You know why people talk behind your back? Because that's their place. You are so far ahead of them. That's all they can do is talk behind your back. Whoa! I'm young, I'm pretty, and I must be the greatest. Let me say that right, Muhammad Ali. I'm so sorry. I'm young, I'm pretty, and I can't possibly be beat. I must be the greatest. Rise up and take your place with God. Whoa!